On today's show, we're chatting to Luis Cajero, who you may remember is the guy we covered when he climbed this outrageous highball boulder. Since we spoke to him, he's continued to develop his home area of Sabanillas, which looks like it has the potential to be truly world-class. To tell us a bit more about the area and Mexican climbing in general, here's Luis. Uh, my name is Luis Cajero. Uh, I'm a Mexican. I was born in San Luis Potosí, but uh, since 17 years ago, I've been here in Querétaro, which is the geographical center of the country. Uh, I would say around three hours uh, northeast of Mexico City. Climbing is becoming really big. In Mexico is growing a lot. I started climbing 15 years ago and here in, in my city, Querétaro, where I learned to climb, when I started there was only two climbing gyms and right now there's around five, six of them. Areas like uh, Peñoles for bouldering have been getting uh, a lot of uh, international attention because of uh, the visit of Nale, Jucataival, I don't know, Jimmy, Webb, uh, Daniel Woods, all these guys. You kind of reach a certain point in your climbing life where you're like, am I going to run out of things to climb? And coming to areas like this just opens our minds to being like, there's so much rock in the world and well, you just have to be motivated, you know? You have to travel far into the desert, suffer a little bit, and you're going to find your gems. Sabanillas is 40 kilometers away from the city. That means it's around 35, 40 minutes away. Uh, so it's a pretty short uh, ride from the city, from, I will say, downtown. I've been developing Sabanillas since 2011. There's already 180, 190 established lines from B1 to maybe B11, B12. Uh, I'm not yet a B13, B14 climber, but there's a lot of projects already. Uh, on that range, I will say. People here don't like to develop too much, but uh, Sabanillas has a lot of potential. I, I would say that uh, it can become either first or second uh, main boulder bouldering area in Mexico. Right now, Peñoles up in Chihuahua in, in northern Mexico is the, the main area. After that is Mineral del Chico, that is in Hidalgo, near Mexico City. But uh, Sabanillas will be third for sure right now, but uh, I want to take it to maybe even first place in Mexico because it has the potential. kinds of holes like pockets, uh, lots of slopers, there's creams, there's pinches, there's everything you can imagine except for maybe tufas that is not found in this kind of rock. So we have an international airport here in Querétaro, uh, no need to go to Mexico City, that is three hours away from here. But uh, Mexi Mexico is very safe in general, I mean there's very bad things going on, uh, corruption I would say too, but uh, if you're down for climbing and just come to Mexico to climb, you have no problem. I would just like to invite people to come over and get to see Central Mexico, 
especially if there's very strong climbers that want to, I don't know, leave their names here or just open new lines, there's potential. All it takes is a few wire brushes and the wheel to, to clean, that's all. Thanks, Luis. Last thing before we go, if you want to see me or Luis or anyone else on the show in HD or when you're offline, you can do so by getting the Epic TV app at iTunes or the Google Play Store. See you tomorrow.